Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. You could see I've drastically changed the introduction. I did that with my suit jacket. And I think that signifies this is the dawning of a new era. This is it. What is it? It. That's what it is. Papa John's has done the unthinkable. And I think that they have finally, through this decision, cemented this glorious comestible at its place as a new superfood. Papa John's is introducing boneless wings to their menu. That's right, Papa John's, they have done it. They took the leap and they now are proud to present boneless wings as either a side or an appetizer that anyone can get. And they have a bunch of new flavors of these boneless wings on their menu. Yeah, I know, I kind of hype these sorts of things up, but I mean, I do like boneless wings. I even made a video about boneless wings earlier in the year, uh, defending them. People can call them whatever they want to call them, but uh, I do like my boneless wings, and uh, I'm not going to uh, hesitate to say that. Yeah, I do. I'm a boneless wing fan. So Papa John's, they said, okay, we originally, they had these things on their menu that I think they called, like, uh, chicken poppers, and they said, all right, we're going to get rid of those. I guess they weren't selling well, etc. And we're going to replace them with these new boneless wings. So that's exactly what they did. They said you can get these boneless wings in a 10, 15, or 30 piece. And you can get them in a variety of flavors. You can get them in buffalo flavor, hot lemon pepper, barbecue, honey chipotle, or you could get them unsauced. I decided to get them standard buffalo flavor. I think when you think of wings, boneless or otherwise, I think you always think of them as being the uh, buffalo variety first and foremost. So may as well just go for a classic. And obviously if those are good, probably the rest will be, you know, because if they can't get that right, I mean, this is one of the basics that's really saying something. Uh, but again, you could get them in those five varieties and you can get them again as the 10, 15 or 30 piece. Admittedly, I'm a bit surprised at the price um, because they're not as overpriced as I figured they would be because you have so many items these days that, you know, the price just seems to be extraordinarily high. Whereas a 10 piece of these is available at the price of $8.50. The 15 piece is available for $11 and the 30 piece is available with the price of $21. Now, granted, you could reasonably ask the question then, why are they so cheap? Because it's like, at this point, you are used to seeing the 10 piece being, you know, $15. So when it's just eight, you could just ask, well, is it because the quality is inferior? Or are they just trying to offer a reasonable price this day and age? And uh, I guess we'll find out. Take a sip of water. So again, standard boneless wings. Today's review is just going to be a quick assessment of them. I just want to try them out, see how they taste, see if they're any good or not, and uh, then just take things from there. They came in the plastic feeding trough. You could get them also with ranch sauce for the dipping, which is in there. That's like a hot tub, except that it's not. And that's what it looks like from the outside. What does that say? Papa John's. And at first, when you see the outside like that, you may reasonably ask the question, you know, is everything all right in there? Because it almost looks like the scene of a, a horrid catastrophe. Um, but I'm pleased to report that they have these little holes there for air so they can still breathe. 
And then the looks may be deceiving, because when you open it up, though, there they are. And everything, indeed, is still totally fine. That's what they look like. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up, at least in the viewfinder, it looks like it is. Yes, they do look that vibrantly orange. Uh, very, very bright, potent orange uh, hue there, too. They're kind of stacked on top of each other. You can see some of the seasoning thereon. I have to admit, though... Let's get it in focus. There we go. I have to admit, I like my boneless wings. You know, and I, I mean that sincerely, I do. These, they don't have an appealing scent to them. I just have to be upfront about that. They just don't, they don't smell good. That's, that's just the only way to really put it. I don't know, you know, who, who's to say? They might be good, they might just not have the most pleasant uh, scent to them, but there's just something off about the scent. That's all that I can say. I've had items like this before where the scent can be a little off-putting, and then, of course, you try them out, and it's totally different, and it tastes fine. But uh, that's just something that I did want to throw out there. The other thing that I noticed just by looking at these, and now what I will do is uh, I will skewer one like this. The appearance of them also resembles, and again, I don't know. I'm judging a book by its cover, I sure am. The, res the appearance kind of resembles like those um, microwavable chicken nuggets and things. Like it reminds me of those, those sorts of, I don't know, it's just like the lack of crisp on the outside, if that makes any sense. Reminds me of that. I'm not saying that's how it is. I'm just trying to put some of the pieces together and, uh, and that's just what I'm observing, where it's like, yeah, they're not as expensive as you'd usually think, which isn't a bad thing, but then you have to ask the question, why? They have an off-putting scent to them, and the appearance, yeah, they do look a little on the cheaper side, but again, yeah, was I judging a book by its cover? I sure was. And uh, just because I'm saying these things doesn't mean that this isn't going to be a good item or not. I'm going to try it out. And uh, then let's find out. So, despite these observations, let's see if they're any good or not. The new boneless wings from Papa John's going in. Try that out in a moment. All right, good news. There were some ominous signs going into this, right? Being that, again, obviously the scent wasn't the most appealing, and the appearance was a little iffy, and the price was raising some questions. I am happy to say, though, that the way they taste, totally fine. I wouldn't necessarily say that these are anywhere close to being the best boneless wings that I've ever had, because they most certainly aren't. They're very generic. I would say, if anything, they're kind of trending toward the lower end of the spectrum. 
But are they bad, right? Are they anything nearly um, near as bad, let's say, as some of the initial signs perhaps portrayed them to be? No, they aren't. And that's good. So as I bite into them, very, very generic tasting is the best way to describe it. It's like, yeah, it's very obviously chicken. Is the chicken the most flavorful in the world? I can't say that it is. As a matter of fact, if I were to get these as the unsauced variety, I don't think I would really have a ton of good things to say, mostly because there wouldn't really be anything to say at all. As I'm biting into this, there's not much moisture in the chicken itself. There's not much flavor in the chicken itself. And despite the appearance of some of the seasoning that you can clearly see on the outside of the boneless wings, can you taste any of that? I can't say I do. So the chicken itself is not of relatively high quality. That's not to say that it is of abysmally low quality either, so it's not like, you know, I'm biting into this and it's all rubbery and disgusting and inedible uh, or anything like that, uh, because it's not. It's not like I'm, you know, biting into it and it's all discolored and, you know, it tastes off or anything like that. It's just, does it really taste like all that much? No, it doesn't. And I guess going with the theme, if you've ever had like those sorts of microwavable chicken nuggets before, you know that those are totally edible, right? You know, or even if you heat them up in a toaster oven or whatever, like the frozen ones that you get in a big bag, you know those are still totally edible. Are they going to be gourmet? No, of course not. Are they going to be of a necessarily restaurant quality? No. But do they often suffice? Yeah. Generally, they get the job done. These mirror uh, those sorts of, of uh, nuggets as far as quality-wise is concerned. But when you're, when you're looking at a place like Papa John's, would you expect at least something slightly higher? I would say so. At least my standard would be a little bit higher than that. Again, yeah, this is Papa John's. This is a fast food place we're talking about here. Of course, I'm not going to expect a gourmet uh, chicken or anything like that. But again, I do wish that the quality of this was a little higher. Now, aside from how lacking the chicken was, the saving grace of this was in the sauce. The sauce is your very, very standard, uh, generic buffalo sauce. But again, it has... Is it on the runnier side? Yeah, it is. But does it give much-needed moisture to this chicken? It sure does. It not only provides it with moisture, but it gives it that necessary flavor, i.e. the spice, that is potent enough that it essentially at least salvages it. It takes what would otherwise be really not a, a very impressive item at all, and it makes it acceptable. You know, the spice is potent, it hits you immediately, and then it lingers on a bit. It's like, it's not the, you know, the hottest sauce you've ever had or anything like that. It's your standard buffalo sauce. But again, you will feel the spice immediately, the moment it hits your tongue, and then you will notice it also in the back of your mouth, for a couple minutes, like even as I'm still enunciating here, I can still taste that spicy aftertaste. You know, it's still there. I took a sip of the water, and I know that's not the miracle uh, cure-all for these sorts of things, but, uh, you know, it just has a little bit of, of higher spice than some of these uh, fast food places perhaps would flaunt. So that's the best part of this, I would say, the buffalo sauce. But then, and I guess I'm, I'm kind of talking to myself here, you know, as I'm deliberating on what to really make of this, it's like, then I ask myself the question, well, if this is an item that's totally dependent on this one sauce to make it something that's barely acceptable, then is that what you'd consider to be a good item? It's like, no, I wouldn't. So I don't want to sit here and just sing praises for something that doesn't really deserve them, it's like, is it good that this item is, again, barely acceptable because of the sauce? Sure. 
I'm glad that this wasn't disgustingly bad or anything, but I wish it could have been better. I wish it were one of those things where the chicken were flavorful enough that it weren't reliant on the sauce to just barely drag it across the finish line and make this into something that I don't hate. You know, so it could definitely be way better. That's something to be aware of. Real quick, I'll try it with a bite of the ranch. See how that is. There was a cross section if you were interested. The ranch is all right. It's, I will say though, that it's actually, the sauce is so potent, the ranch just gets lost in there. So you're not even really able to notice much of the ranch. So it's like, sure, it's, uh, it's there, but it's nowhere near as noticeable, potent, and it doesn't really have any sort of effect on it either. Because again, yeah, this sauce is strong. So taking all this into account, they're affordable. They're barely all right, I guess, for what they are. The sauce is the only saving grace about this item. So factoring that in, I am a bit disappointed. By no means uh, the worst in the world, but uh, I wish that they could have I really wish that they could have been a bit better. I like my boneless wings. I'm a fan of them. And uh, these are a bit on the disappointing side when, again, they need all this just to make them barely acceptable. So if you get these, it'll be like one of those things where it's like, yeah, yeah, it's all right, you know. Yeah, all right. I'm fine with that. It's, it's like you'll probably be complacent with it, but I don't think you're going to have a reaction toward these where you'll be thinking to yourself, Oh, these are delicious, I can't wait to have them again, etc., etc. So therefore, out of 10, what am I going to give the new boneless wings from Papa John's? I'm just going to have to give these a 5.5 uh, out of 10. Barely acceptable, but uh, I would have liked to see a bit better from them. Just something to be aware of. Yeah, I wouldn't go out of your way to get this. That's just my opinion. <clears throat> All right. On a final note... In addition to these reviews, I also do a radio show and a podcast. Do the radio show twice a week, every week, in it. I'll talk about some current events, whatever's on my mind. I'll play some music as well. And I invite you to listen in. The broadcast goes out on the shortwave twice a week. If you don't have a shortwave radio, it's streamed online as well. You can find a broadcast schedule and ways to listen in the description. And likewise, if you'd like to support the radio show, if you'd like to support my podcast that I also do, if you'd like to ex access some exclusive content, you're always welcome to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash the report of the week. It's in the pinned comment as well if you'd like to find out more. And through that page, you could access all of my radio shows on a demand. Just throwing that information out there so you know it exists. It's up to you what you want to do with that, but now you know about it, and uh, that's, the, that's the point of this whole little ad, so to speak. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.